Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Eating Myself Smallish. If you're new here, and you probably are, my name is Amanda. I'm 42 years old. I had the gastric sleeve done in 2015 and I failed it. My highest weight before the sleeve was 275. My highest weight after was 300. I started this channel to document my evolving relationship with food and try to improve that relationship. I did take about a year long break because it was backfiring on me, but I am back now. Um, I do attempt to film everything that I eat during the week. I did a much better job this week than I did last week. I didn't even include what I ate last week because I had done such a piss poor job of it. I am still bad about not documenting down either in writing or on video when I like grab a handful of grapes to snack on or jerky. Um, and in my video of the food, you'll see on Thursday, like I got my first dinner plate, my second dinner plate, but I did not capture my third and my fourth. We were watching Oppenheimer and that movie is, that movie is incredible. If you haven't watched it yet, you need to watch that movie. That is, a, man, I know how it ends and I was still on the edge of my seat. Anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't even thinking about filming. That's my excuse for that day. The other days it's just, um, poor habits that I need to get back control of. That sound in the background is my dishwasher. I did try to cancel it because <laughs> I realized after I started it, I was like, oh, I want to film. And that's loud and annoying, but it won't cancel for me. Anyway, so I have for you my food that I ate how I did and um, I'm gonna skip the full body usually I will do a full body front and side but I think I'm gonna cut that down to once a month um, I also have a little grocery haul and I think I have something to do a little cooking video for this week I think so uh, my weight last week I had gotten to 184 I believe I cannot remember if it was 185 or 184 after Thanksgiving, my weight bounced up to 188. Yeah, 188, but as of this morning, I am at 185. Now, considering what I experienced last last week, you know, with the previous week of eating, with the, like I had um, homemade bread, which I did again this week. I had cinnamon rolls that uh, last week, um, and pear cobbler and all kinds of stuff that really, you know, not only added a bunch of calories, but really inflamed me as well. And I, the dressing that I made for Thanksgiving used white bread crumbs. So it was kind of, I knew that I was going to see some higher numbers on the scale for one reason or another, but I knew I didn't eat enough to gain a good four or five pounds. So I don't know what my, what I'd say my true weight is, um, cause I don't know if I'm still like calming down from the inflammation. I did see 183 this past week. I believe that was on Wednesday. Yes, that was on Wednesday. It was 183 the day before Thanksgiving. Day after Thanksgiving, I was 188. <laughs> now, today I'm 185 and I don't know if that's still going down or what what's happened. So it won't probably be until next week that I'm confident in what my weight is going to be. So now I'm gonna get into the food and also have a grocery haul and then we'll be back to say goodbye.
Okay, thought I'd do a little grocery haul here. This is the jerky that I like to eat, that I like to snack on. It's good stuff. I got some more P3 packs. I got some brown rice, uh, which is gonna go with this bison. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, I've never had bison, so this is new. This will probably be a cooking video. I'm thinking about doing uh, stuffed bell peppers. I've got some tempeh. I've got some ground turkey. I'm gonna do some chili later in the week. Um, I keep different size cans of um, evaporated milk on hand. I don't use them that often, uh, but I did kind of go through what I had uh, for Thanksgiving because I made mashed potatoes and I made uh, pie. So I like to keep these on hand for when I do make mashed potatoes or um, sometimes we like these fruit smoothies. I use uh, frozen fruit. That's a rare treat. We don't do that often, but I'll use that in there. Um, pickle beets. Uh, I got some avocado oil. I'm going to start using this more often. It's supposed to be a little bit better for you. Um, I am low on beef bouillon. I'm also low on chicken bouillon. I need to get some more of that. Got some cherries. These are not the kind of cherries that I thought that they were when I ordered them. I thought that they were dark, but we will try those. Baby spring mix. 36 eggs. Um, I cook eggs for the dogs every morning and sometimes I'll make Trevor, uh, my partner, some stuff with eggs. So we go through, we go through a lot of eggs. I don't necessarily eat them a lot, but the family does go through them. Got some black olives. For some reason, I cannot find black olives in the jar around here. Um, a much bigger thing of pineapple than I anticipated. <laughs> A couple more canned things. This will go for the chili. Uh, this is also something that I keep on hand. Um, either Rotel or this brand. And my bell peppers for my stuffed bell peppers. Bell pepper. Oh, It's not pretty, but I'll use you anyway. Just a little grocery haul. Okay, and that is it. I hope to do even better this coming week, not only with my choices, but as far as filming absolutely everything, or at least writing it all down. I do appreciate your time that you've spent with me. I know it's, you could be anywhere, you could be watching anything, and you chose to watch me, and that means a lot to me. Um, like the video if you think about it, subscribe if you want to follow along with me, and you know, if you don't want to subscribe, Maybe give me a thought in the next few months or so and come back and check on me and see how I'm doing. Hopefully I'll still be around and not on another hiatus, but I really feel confident this time. Right. Thank you.